So that's just about all the questions that I have for you. Do you have any questions for me? Guys, if you're in an interview, it's likely going to end this way. I mean, this is probably the most common interview question that you're going to face. It's the way the hiring manager wants to close the interview process. And so first off, we need to be respectful of the time. We don't want to be asking another 15 questions or so. But what happens if you don't have any questions? Well, I recently read an article in Forbes and they cited a survey that was done by Jazz HR, which is a recruiting software company. And what they found was that 56% of hiring managers would still consider a candidate even if they did not have any questions at the end of the interview. 56%. Not bad. Oh, so you want 100%. Well, then you're going to need to ask some questions. My name is Bill Benoist. I'm a certified professional career coach here in Silicon Valley. And I want to tackle this issue in today's video about what questions you should be asking. But let me start off by saying definitely do not be asking any me questions. You're not going to be wanting to talk about salary or the title changes, negotiating something when a job offer hasn't even been made. Nothing me related. What Can I work from home? Is there flexibility in the hours? No, you want to be asking some well thought out questions. So how do we have some well thought out questions? Well, it's from doing some well thought out research. So one of the first things that I want you to do is make sure that you research the company. I mean, not only go to the company website, the landing page, but review every single page out there. Just get yourself acquainted on that company webpage, as well as Googling the company to see what uh, comes out as far as the results. You may find some latest press releases out there. You also want to check them out on LinkedIn. I mean, we all have LinkedIn profiles, but companies also have LinkedIn profiles. So check all of these sources and any other sources that you may have, because what it, there's two things about this. Number one, if you're asked the question, well, what do you know about our company? You're going to blow the socks off the uh, interviewer that is asking that question. But the other thing, and which is, I think, just as important, if not more important, it's going to lead you to some questions. Now, if you were to research this interview question, do you have any questions for me, which comes at the end of the interview, you're going to find that a number of career coaches will talk about um, the three C's, which is the culture, the challenges, and the closing. And some will even add a fourth C in there. They'll talk about connection. These are good starting points. I mean, even the career transition companies that I've worked with in the past have talked about this. So this is something that, you know, many coaches will talk with you about is you want your questions to surround this area. But I want to take this one step further. As you probably know, if you have watched any of my other videos or if you've been to my website, I primarily work with professionals in mid to late career. And these individuals will have different questions or they should have different questions than say somebody that might be at a lower level. So let's take a look at these questions. Let's take a look at culture for a moment from the position that you're applying for. So, you know, a, a, a common question that somebody may ask is what is your management style? Okay, that's a fine question. You know, cultural question, what is your management style? But really, that is something that an individual contributor may be asking the hiring manager about. But if you are a mid-level manager, then maybe what you might want to ask is something more like, what management style do you believe works best in this organization? But you, if you are at a senior level, let's say a senior vice president, then what you may be asking is, how would you characterize the company's overall management style? You see what I mean? We're looking at different positions. So as we're moving up, we're creating our questions regarding the position title that we're applying for.
You know, another one could be at a senior level position, what is the company's culture? But you got to be really careful about that one because if you've done your homework and you've gone through um, company website, a lot of times they will talk about the company culture on their website. But if not, this is a good question to ask. What is the company's culture like? But if you're more, let's say, a middle management level or even an individual contributor, you know, something that may be a little bit different from the company culture is the department culture. So you might ask, what's the department culture like? What's the dynamics of the team? These are all good questions that are based upon the culture of the company. Let's talk about challenges for a moment. If someone's an individual contributor, they may ask the question to the hiring manager, what do you see as being my biggest challenge once I start in this role? A mid-level manager or even a lead may ask, what do you see as the biggest challenge for this department? Or possibly even if it's middle manager, what do you see as the biggest challenge for the company? But at a senior level, you may be asking, what do you see as the biggest challenge the industry faces in the next five years? So keep in mind, when you're asking these questions, ask them at that level that you're applying for. This is really important. Now, the third C is what we would call the closing. And, you know, I think every single career coach out there will always advise the person, stress to the person that they're working with, never leave the interview without asking what are the next steps in the process. Now, outside of asking what the next steps are, there is one final question that I would really encourage you to ask. It's a little scary, but it is one that I think can definitely help you determine where you stand in the interview. And it would go something like this. Yes, I do have one final question. Based upon today's interview, do you have any reservations regarding my experience or skills to be successful in this position? You're going to get an answer on that. Might not be the answer that you want to hear, but it will give you something that you can actually address in your thank you email.